Your heart, muscles, and brain, like three older brothers, think they're exercise's favorite. But hold on, exercise has another favorite, your chromosomes. Yes, the tiny DNA strands that carry the genetic code that keep your cells and you alive, which is impressive. Most fourth kids are just trying not to get left at the grocery store. True story. Check out the long-form video on my YouTube channel about which exercise is best for longevity and keep watching this to learn more about why. Every time a cell divides, it loses a piece of its protective DNA cap called a telomere. When those caps wear down too far, the cell can't divide. It basically retires. That's biological aging. Shorter telomeres are linked to cancer, dementia, and heart disease. So can exercise slow down that shortening? A 2022 meta-analysis on seven studies found that aerobic exercise consistently done for six months or longer significantly slowed telomere loss and therefore cellular aging. Then a 2025 review analyzed 12 studies of healthy adults and found a small to moderate effect on telomere length with moderate to vigorous aerobic exercise. But the greatest protection came with high-intensity interval training. So how does exercise help? A single bout of exercise causes a spike in oxidative stress by increasing free radicals, mild inflammation, and micro damage to tissues. This is especially true if you're new to exercise or pushing yourself with high intensity workouts. But here's the key, that stress sparks an adaptive response that lowers oxidative stress and inflammation and boosts telomerase, the enzyme that repairs telomeres. All this happens with regular, consistent, moderate to vigorous aerobic exercise, but even more so when interval training is included. In other words, regular exercise gives your cells the right amount of stress so your DNA can fight back against aging. Not bad for the sibling nobody knows at family dinners. Go to my YouTube channel for more evidence-based facts on how to live a healthier, longer life. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.